Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Places. Okay, we're gonna go with the slow set. Yeah. Just please do our stuff, can you? Ah. Oh, you're a dark. You're a dark ray. Go check. So what? Did they murder everyone? But I think he's still here. Wait, I don't get it. What happened? Yes, we have a clean burn. Oh, that was just them. That was them fighting us. Will remain silent. Okay. So they're a spy, basically. Uh, you. What is it? Is this one new? Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. And she got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Alright. <clears throat> Ensha, one of the murderers. Yeah, that probably means these guys are going to try and off us at some point. That might be how they... Oh, hello there. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Why are you quite unable to move? <clears throat> you, uh... Is that stone? You defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. Ooh. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Okay, Glintstone Bevel. So, like his legs get broken or something, or cut off? Because that looks like cloth more than anything. Hold up. He almost has like tentacles or something under there. Or like tree branches. Can we? I don't think we can like sneak a pee out, but we can. You just see that there's like these little growths down there. All right, sounds good, I guess. Right, so we got his rapier. Roger's rapier. We need Dex seventeen to use it. And it's... Okay, it's not a faith weapon at all. But it is a thrusting weapon. Piercing sword of wait, a superior quality. Featuring in intricate ornamentation. Signature weapon, signature weapon of a sorcerer Rogier. 
High dexterity is required to wield the blade to its full potential, but mastery is a sight to behold, characterized by flowing style which excels at successive attacks. This skill is the Glint Blade of Phalanx. I mean, we'll look at it. Hello. What's up? Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all out. You're up. They are champs. Let's strengthen this. We need what? More smithing stone ones? Sounds good. She doesn't have anything I need. There's the boulder snatch or whatever it is. <laughs> Baldachin. Baldachin's blessing. Oh, Alright, we need to take all that rape here. Right. Oh, wait a second. This guy's the last boss, isn't he? The second to last boss? There's, so, uh, this guy's tarnished. He was the all-knowing. That's why we can't attack him. Because he's probably, like... So, in most Souls games, they go, there's the, the set of, like, early game bosses you have to kill. And there's usually a couple of bosses after that. I think he's one of the bosses after that. Also, if you notice, Kratos hasn't cut off his head yet and like put it on his belt. So, yeah. All right. Ah, oh, well then. You seem to be doing quite well. We all said. Amazing. Increases fire damage negation. Yeah, sounds pretty standard for miracles. Yes, yeah, may the gables in all time. Right, let's go over the Lindgrave over here. We have Linura, Linuria over here. Seems to be another great tree over there. Got out the tree. Over here is stuff. Got out the tree. There's probably a there's probably a waypoint in here that we can go to. We could also head down here and check that out, but um, let's check out over here, and then we can check it over there, and that should work out well for us. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's see what we're gonna do next. All right. So we're back in single player, and I was trying to find something in my inventory. I don't think I have it yet. So, just for the sake of brevity, I looked up where it would be. I pro I think I found it on my playtest playthrough. Make sure all the recording worked. So, I think it's over here-ish. I'm not sure if it is over there, but I think it's over in that direction. I think that's four. So, let's go over there. And just see if we can find what I'm looking for. Okay, so... What is that? Ah, these guys. Who cares? <laughs> They're all the corpses anyway. Or soon to be. Alright, so I think it's somewhere over here. I'm not sure. Um, I sort of like looked it up a little bit, but I'm not crazy looked it up. I was just looking at stuff on the map and saying, hmm, what's that? Is it over here? Das ist das. How much German I speak? I speak, or how much Deutsch I speak? I know that it's called Deutsch. <laughs> I know was means what, East means is, and das means this. I know that gift is poison, and um, sprechen Sie Deutsch is a polite way. Yeah, I think it's a polite way to say, do you speak German? 
<laughs> oh, that's about the extent of my German. Alright, so we have the third church of Madica. Let's go ahead and activate this Spock race. And what is this over here? A sacred tear. And what is this? Blast the wondrous physic. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor herb trees and elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in a flask of wondrous physic. This will allow you to create elixirs of various custom effects. Alright. That's actually what I was looking for. Okay, so what this does. Yeah, flask. Oh, wait. Mix wonder scissors. Lena. She has something to say? Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Yes. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors. I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Interesting. All right, which one is physical? This is when you can mix two crystal tears and the flask of wondrous physic. This will allow you to create physics with various custom effects. Alright, what do we have? Quince, Quinsum Crystal Tear. Stores have our HP. Stores ha have our total HP. I mean, FP. Temporary boost to stamina. Increased charge attacks for a time. And causes concoction to explode in mixed physic. Interesting. How much damage is the is the explosion? Sounds good. And now we can go over here. We can say that. Go find something that won't run away from us. Let's go see how much this explodes for. Because if it's a substantial amount of damage, then it would be your. Then it would be worth it potentially. But, we need something to be relatively close to us, I think. Probably need a Bula. Ah! Oh, okay, we have to dodge through that. Gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> So it's essentially a trap for enemies. So you to, but you have to dodge at the right time or you get hurt. Okay, and there's, there's not an indication as to when that explosion happens. <laughs> must be two misses, three misses. Be... Ah. Can we, can we dodge through this? I'm... I'm guessing we can. Hmm, maybe we can. Anyway. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. It's a bad four Mississippi rag. Right, so after three seconds it explodes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Okay. <laughs> I think we need to wait until four and then dodge. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Oh no, it, it blows up regardless. <laughs> I mean, it, it hurts you regardless. Okay, so. That's interesting. Close explosion. 
defective crystal tier which possesses absolutely no medicinal qualities. Lesson said to be learned the hard way, for some. Faith can be evolved to matter, after all. Yes. Indeed. Alright, we'll, we will restore our... have our mana then. Okay, well, that was what I was looking for. So... I suppose we'll get back to doing some uh, multiplayer recording. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we've been doing a little bit of co-op, and we're going to go see if we can get our hands on some other spells. So, I'm not entirely certain uh, where these are. What is this? Artist Shack, Study Hall. Okay, so I think I need to travel around in this area just a little bit more. Explore around there. Yeah, and that should help us out. So, <coughs> we're just after some characters that sell some uh, some more spells that could be useful in our repertoire. All right, so that's them. This is the artist's abandoned shake. So let's go on and make our way up here. Yes. Now, here's the important question. Is this a, de is this a death trap? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Alright. What are those? <laughs> it's like Kenshi, where it's like, what is that? Uh, fire slugs. Do they explode when they die? No boom? Okay. It is like this just damage you? No. Okay, sounds good. Seems to be an encampment of some sort over here. There's the red dudes. They're probably like the in-game equivalent of a Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Okay, so goes, those guys aren't contact damage. That's good to know. <clears throat> what else is around here? And those are just gates. Gates going around to anything. Living the best life. Now we have some standard babers. Okay, and what is this? Did that? That'll have more uh, people. N not people. That's will have another mural to. The writer of Berserk, <clears throat> who passed away somewhat recently. Okay, so what is this one called? Cathedral of Vows, or Church of Vows. Okay, so is there an invader here? Is that a turtle? No, oh, we can't target it. You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. All right. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. 
In which case, I will share all that I know. Okay, well, you know, so do incantations. This is, yeah, blessings boon. Grant blessing to yourself and nearby allies. Grant's blessing to the caster nearby allies, gradually storing HP. Hold to continue praying to delay activation. Glint magic glint blade creates a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after a delay. Yeah, carrion greatsword. Performs a sweeping slash using magical using a magical greatsword. Okay, very nice. Cost 16. One cost 12. So if we use glint blades, then these are really uh, powerful. Let's save it for this one because we are got, we are sort of doing a a um, glint blade sorcery playthrough. Uh, maybe unofficially though. How much is one of these worth? Two thousand. Okay. These were two thousand a piece, I think. Got a little bit. Let's get that. Very good. Let's just look around because I don't know what's here. Got these. Is there anything up here though? Can I get up? Yes, I can get up here. Hey! I did it! <laughs> okay, well, let's get back inside, shall we? Wait, what happens if we jump on him? Nothing. Nothing happens if we jump on him. Uh, visions of Doug. Alright. There. Oh, attacking. Why is it always attacking? What are you talking about? Oh, it's chest. Okay, it's not a mimic. Are there mimics in this game? I don't know. Gold sewing needle. Gold tether golden tailoring tools. I do know what those are, but I'm pretty sure they'll be useful. Alright, what else is around here? Sort of we sort of got what we came for. So there is that. Now, of course, we can test it out and go off. Because <laughs> there's absolutely no um, co op. There are. There is. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we also got an amulet. Um, we bought. We bought this memory stone. So we did a lot of cups. We bought the memory stone from that lady in town. So we can equip another spell. So we're gonna go with this one. So what does it look like? Okay, so that can we charge it? No. Seems nice though. Plus a lot of FP though. Is there something up here? Oh, that's just the top of the gravestones. This one's just poking out. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, some people pay good money for that. <laughs> so, um, all right. I have no idea how much damage this does. But I, I also want to buy his other spell, though. So, I suppose we will, um... I suppose we'll go do some co-op and gather some souls. Alright, so back to single play. We, uh, did, you know, some multiplayer. We have some souls now. We don't need to sit at the bond, the, uh, Sire Grace. 
the spore grace to teleport. So we can just do that from the menu. And so let's go on out here. We will go buy the other stuff that this merchant has. Uh, Turtle Pope, as one of my students called him. And uh, we'll go from there. Portal Pope. Now, somebody said, why attacking? Okay, well. Oh, what's this? A town. Nice. No need for absolution. Greetings. Do you need anything? I want to study your sorcery. Give me that. Give me that. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan? Yes. Lord Radigan was a great champion. Possessed of flowing red locks, he came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renana in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Interesting. Radigan. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Interesting. Renala? You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. You have anything else about her? In the end, Lady Renala was left alone. Cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. What about Radigan? You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Okay. So there's nothing else here. Farewell. Is there something else? No, not really. Alright, I can only assume he has more lines because he, I mean, he's voice acted, so I'd assume he has more lines than just that. After we kill Radagon or something, if we have to fight Radagon, look, he'll be like, you killed Radagon. Amazing. Alright, so the, um, Altered Garments. Uh, I think it's just we can now change our, um, not change our clothes. We have to dye our clothes, we can do that. We have all this stuff. Nothing's in a chesty, nothing's on the chesty yet. We can mix this. Uh, we don't really have anything that matters to us all that much right now. Over here we have, cool, let's see, that costs six. This one, Magic Glint Blade, after a delay. So what does that look like? Yeah, let's dispel the um, Prisoner Starts with. 
wonder if it just targets who uh no that does track pretty well though so there's that however this one increase boost carrying sword sorcerers and this one the carrying glint blade staff boost glint blade sorcery so I don't necessarily want to uh, use this one for that so let's put a memorized spell we're going to take our swift glint stone shard and just do what we can yeah, if we wanted to, we could do all these, like, glint blades and glint blade phalanxes and such. And that's probably, you know, useful, I suppose, in PvP. Hmm. But alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we don't want to do multiplayer yet. However, let's go and explore a little bit more. So we've got this place up here. We have this. What happens if we keep going north? Because there's that earth tree. We can go look at that. So let's go do that. Let's check this out. Look at those dudes. Those deuterinos. Oh! How could this happen to me? <laughs> All right, what is over there? Right, well, we can't, we can't get over there right now. Holy crap, what is that? A huge turtle? It's a turtle. Oh, all right then. Why is there always a dog? Shook ahead, but be wary of sniper. Sniper. Then, uh, there was a sniper. Okay, then. There was a sniper. Let's, uh, well, try to first find out what the sniper is. What are we doing down here? I mean, that's one way to get down there. Right? They actually want to go over here so we can pick up our stuff again. So, uh, I mean, that's that's a way. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. What goes a little bit beyond that? We want to we wanna go pick our stuff up. And uh, not get snooped this time. Oh! Oh! So let's see. What is up here? Take that. We'll get off of Torrent this time. Oh, he's over there. I see. Probably jump down there. I'm gonna wait for him to fire again. Hey, dude. How's it going? Nice area you got there. Okay, so maybe we can sneak down here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so we're not dead yet. <laughs> Keyword. We get on tour. Get off of tour. We can get down here, I assume. That works. We follow an extra inch. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you see that one inch? The difference between your leg being between your leg exploding and your leg not. All right. So what? And the nine house. All right. Sounds good.
Oh no! Those guys have probably lots of archers, don't they? And... What's your whole thing, friendo? Can I stun lock you? Oh, you don't take a whole lot of damage, do you? Can I kill you like this? Yes. Second. So yeah, it doesn't give that much. You give some experience. Some reasons. Okay. So we got these guys. I kind of want to kill these archers relatively quickly because they can probably one shot me. Three, four, five. One, two, three. Ah, right, I got it. So they, uh, they didn't use their bows. So that's good. <laughs> I like when they handicapped themselves. The game a little bit easier. Right, no one seems to be coming after us or shooting at us right now. Where are we? Okay. So what is this? What's over there? Can we survive? Yes. Yes, we can. Wait, okay, Earth Tree Flower, that works. Earth Tree, yeah, Earth Tree Flower. So, I guess the choke point where they were going to snipe us is behind us. Okay, so what's with the bell? Is this like the uh, gargoyles in Dark Souls 1? Where it's, um, where it don't work gongs whenever someone kills the gargoyles? So, in this case, we'd be killing a, a specific boss? Oh yeah, that's death. Maybe it's uh, something, a big, like, rock, like, turtle. Oh. That's probably what it is. Alright, so there's probably a way we can get those guys to come down so we can get on top of them. Or well, at least that is my assumption. Alright, so... What else is there? We might as well just take a sip. So we have it. Okay, there's one of those guys. There's probably more. And again, maybe not. Maybe he's just a botanist. Maybe he'd survive. Oh, okay. I see he's got some dogs. Some Durgos. Oh my dude. Three, four, half. Gotcha. Huh. Great horned headband. Sounds good. Doggos seem to not really care about us too much. Yeah, we can use this. Well, the dog if the wolves leave us alone, we'll leave the wolves alone. Looks like they're not bothering, so we'll leave them be. Unless they are bothering. Are they? No. They don't care about us. Works for me. Okay, sounds good. Let's see what else we can find around here. It's probably gonna say sniper. Be wary of jumping. Time for jumping. Is jumping here a trap? Did you get like stuck in? Okay, well, if jumping is potentially a trap, I'm going to want to uh, get... I'm going to want to see if I can find a spot of grace. No jumping in here. Alright, Torrent, let's go. Unfortunately, unlike Mountain Blade, you can't keep your shield up while... Uh, 
Well, uh, on a horse. We have, we're pretty much completely defenseless right now. That sounds... Oh, hello you! Today. Yeah, well, some of those somber smithing stones. Okay, are these like. Are, are these enemies that we can kill? What is it doing? Right, well, we can't target anything on it. We took it? Not really. Run! <laughs> okay, nice. Well, we can't do anything about that, so I guess we're not going to uh, do anything. So, what else is around here? Is there a spa grace around here? A sweet grace. Let's find out. Okay, so it seems to be something up there. Maybe that is something useful to us. Hmm. Weird. Well, we're gonna get a, uh, a leaping attachment, you know, you know lose our arm, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, just, <laughs> like, pull ourselves up the strongest arm strength ever. <laughs> There's an Erd tree. Some battlements over there. Someone's walking around out here. Who would be? Oh, it's him walking into uh, something. Oh, they're just stomping in place. Go watch it. This guy over here is trying to be sneaky, but he. So let's, uh. Show him the air of his ways. Okay, very nice. Nice. There's friend. They do a lot of poison. They do a lot of stamina damage, don't they? Let's heal. And let's take him out. Die. Gucci. Alright, very nice. Got some uh, golden runes over there. Well, let's take out the next guy. And maybe we can make our way forward. Right, we are <laughs> right as spoiled. All right, buddy, die. Got these weird barbarian dudes. What did we get? Nothing, it just recharged our mana plus if we had used our mana. Okay. So lots of these. Oh, they're protecting the Erd Tree. Gotcha. Guess it's their way of uh, worshipping the Erd Tree. I guess. Bro. Right. Hmm. That works. So, here we get up by going through here. 
So, continue going this way. We should be fine. We might be able to just ride past them. Assuming they don't start shooting at us. But then again, they might have a small back. Oh no. Oh, we're dead. We're not dead. Alright, sounds good. Let's make our way over here then. And, um. Ah. Fell off. That was too much. That was too far. What is over here then? Maybe we can find uh, something over here that can be useful to us. Maybe it's a cave or something. Right, very nice. It's down here. Hello? Are you some sort of, like, super mini boss? Well, he did notice us, so I'm gonna go see if there's a spot of grace in here that we can use before fighting him. He hasn't, he hasn't aggroed on us, and there is a spot of grace. A sight of grace. Well, that works. Now, there should be a... something in here that... Can let us send our summoning sign here. Without any major issues. work? It does. <laughs> so you can just chain stun them to death. Nice. Alright. So, this one. Right here. Oops. Let's activate it. Sounds good. And is Skelly gonna come after us? Sort of. Take off our light. Take that, Skelly. We can't give him a prostate exam, so we'll give him a hip exam instead. Alright, so. I'm assuming if there's a lot of enemies that come back to life after you kill them. I wonder if there's like a necromancer or something like that. That uh, is reanimating them, or if they just naturally, if they just normally reanimate. But let's rest at the side of Grace. Let's go fight this guy and see how tough he is. Seems to have like some fire and gold flame. Hello, so nice. And is that a three hit? No, it's just a two hit combo. That's a one. Okay, charge and then swing around. Is he going to do this swing around? No. So we will punish. We can just damage him through his shield a lot. One. He's not going to do the other. Ah, very nice. Hey. This does seem to stagger them when it hits them. So we took him down. Who are you? Huh. Here. You're a dude. You're an actual dude. Okay, sounds good. Well. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Some decapitated dude. So, it looks like it can stagger enemies that it doesn't, um... But it can't poise break them, I don't think. Because he respawned. He does.
Yeah, let's drink this one. Take this. And there. Nice, trying to punish us. Nice. Very nice. We're out of stamina though. Good yeah. Okay, knight great sword, huh? Interesting. Alright, I have a feeling it's, yeah, so he's gonna do chip damage on people who have shields. Who are blocking his attacks. So that can be really useful uh, in teaching people how to use stuff. Um but yeah. How easy is he to is he to um counter? Oh, okay. So those are not counterable. Good to know. Music boom should have zagged. Oh, nice. Yes, boys. <laughs> He's wearing proper armor, we're not. <laughs> we have the Night Sword. I wonder what that is. How well does the Night Sword work? But alright, let's see. What is it? Knight Great Sword is what he's got. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty standard Great Sword from Soulsborne Games. Sounds good. That's the Hollow Slayer. Gotcha. It's not as fast as the Hollow Slayer was. Sounds good. The Hollow Slayer was overtuned on purpose. Can I backstab him, actually? Yes, I can. So he is probably a common enemy. Let's go collect our stuff. Yeah. All right then, good snacks. Show me what you got. Come on, my dude. Damn. All right. Let's dance around a little bit. I think it's time to go back to using magic. Gotcha. Alright. Well, we know a little bit 
But let's go and see what else we can do here. Because uh, we want to find a way to get around here, but I think... Is this death? I don't know. We will find out, yes. <laughs> Is that kid back here? Die, Dragonfly. Okay, yeah, that's death. Come on, Torrent. There's no escape. No. Escape for us. Something down there, though. That could be useful. Alright. Is that Dragonfly still out first? No. It's giving it up. We need to go and get up here so we can go up there. But how exactly do I do that? That's what I'm not sure about. This might ask a little... We might also have to go in here from there. It ends, so there might not actually be a way in here. So we need to get up there again. I don't think we can do that, actually. There's a burr over there. Uh, no. No way. So what is over here? Right. It's that thing. Is there a tree? Right there. Alright, sounds good. Let's go. I wonder if there's like a special item we have to get that lets us like jump up there or upgrade torrent so that he can get up there. Is he jumping? He was jumping. Sounds good. But we are too fast. Alright. Is this a shortcut? Can we use this to get up there? Ah, yes. Not even a shortcut. <laughs> what we had to do was go around. Um, alright. So... Well, that's... Here's another one of these leaping to the air, doing his thing. Where's the earth tree? Other side of you. Why don't I go up? Like, go northish up here. Try to get up there instead of going around. Maybe that's why we are supposed to go. Guess we'll find out. Nope. No, it's not. There seem to be people down there, though. Or something. Yeah. Wrong. Well, let's go ahead and keep you on, then. <laughs> let's get away from that. Let's head up here. Maybe we can parkour our way over there. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. Alright, so... No idea what that is. And this leads to nothing. And I don't think we could manage to get torn down there and survive. There are those cliffs. Everywhere. So I think the only way you can really get down there is... By. I don't think that'll work either. Yeah, I think we'll just have to use these. So, have more fine control on foot. Let's hope we don't like fall to our deaths. Get smoked by someone. We'll pull out torrent if we need it. Though. 